if you are not aware, it has been reported that there has been a mass UFO sighting in California. Now, I absolutely love stories like these. It's a nice change of pace from the doom and gloom of the weekly news. It reminds me back in 2023 how there was all this strange news. We had 10 foot tall aliens landing in a family's backyard in Las Vegas. Then we had the whole UFO whistleblowers and then we had these people on planes absolutely losing their minds over seeing MFers that were not real. So when I see breaking news that not just one or two people saw UFOs in the skies, but there was a mass sighting in California, I get kind of excited. But when it comes to strange lights in the sky, spherical lights racing back and forth, like what's been reported in California, we have to be very careful because I have spoken about these lights multiple times in other videos and these lights could be a warning of something disastrous to come. These might not necessarily mean UFOs. Before I do go ahead and get into what those spherical lights could be a warning of, let's go ahead and read this article here that's titled, Multiple UFO Sightings Reported in Southern California, Residents Share Unsettling Encounters. This article was released today, August 17th, and it says, Recent reports from Southern California have sparked intrigue and concern as residents of Palmdale and Lancaster claim to have witnessed multiple UFO sightings. The accounts shared primarily on platforms like the Ring Neighbors app describe unusual aerial phenomena that have left the community both fascinated and uneasy. This video footage captured here is one of the supposed UFOs that was seen hovering over California, this bright spherical light. It was uploaded on Twitter and there's a debate back and forth whether this is a drone or not. We have people that did not take any video footage, but they took photos of these very strange and spherical lights. Then we had another person in Lancaster who filmed a group of these spherical lights that were hovering in the sky. Going back to the article, it says, the sightings began when one resident noticed a peculiar light in the sky while walking their dog. They were quoted as saying, I saw a bright light hovering in the sky and it didn't look like any aircraft I have ever seen. It was just floating there. This experience has been echoed by others with reports of up to six flying objects observed within a span of just 10 minutes. Others took their sightings to social media and said, you guys won't believe what I just saw. I was sure it was some kind of plane until it just stopped and hovered. It looked more like a hovercraft than anything else. In one eerie account, a resident described watching what they first thought was a shooting star only for it to suddenly halt midair before zigzagging out of sight. They said, I had to check if I was seeing things, wondering if others had noticed the same strange behavior. And others did. Others have noticed that these lights were zigzagging or they were racing back and forth. What could these lights be? We don't know. The overall consensus is that these are either UFOs or they are actual drones. Now, unless we 100% know what they are, technically, Yes, they are UFOs. They are unidentified flying objects. There are some people that are 100% adamant into knowing what they are, but again, unless we get confirmation, we're only just guessing. But to me, when I see these spherical lights in the skies, especially in a place like California, I get kind of worried. While people are back and forth, whether these are drones or some kind of advanced man-made technology or something extraterrestrial, we also have to remember that these spherical lights could also be earthquake lights. Before anybody says that minutes of horror, that's a very boring answer. I want you to tell me these were UFOs. Now I'm not saying that these are 100% without a doubt earthquake lights. You have to remember we are indeed looking at California here, but these lights also appeared one month prior to the massive Moroccan earthquake. What's very similar to California is that people in Morocco, they were all recording these different lights. Some were recording spherical lights, some were recording lights that were going back and forth in the sky, some were recording these multicolored lights, blue lights, red lights, some were like flickering back and forth. So people were recording these different lights and they thought they were UFOs. Most of the population that were recording these lights 
thought the same thing as the people in California. They all thought they were UFOs. You even had one person in Morocco capture one of these earthquake lights that looked like a massive radio tower sending out an alert right before the massive earthquake had broke out. Now, again, I am not saying that what was seen in California are indeed earthquake lights, but we can't take the conversation of earthquake lights off the table, especially given the fact, once again, we are talking about California. What I also find rather interesting is that a couple days ago, there were articles coming out from news and media that the legendary doomsday fish was found deceased in California days before an earthquake struck Los Angeles. This earthquake that struck Los Angeles wasn't a rather big earthquake, not for Los Angeles anyway. It was only a 4.6 magnitude earthquake, but the oarfish is commonly referred to as the doomsday fish as some believe it foreshadows natural disasters such as earthquakes or tsunamis. The fish has been observed around Japan during major earthquakes, but still scientists report that they have yet to establish a link between its appearances and events such as quakes and subsequent tsunamis. It's just that every time there is a massive earthquake or a tsunami, there is always oarfish that are seen just right before these events. Yet again, they don't want to make any links. The oarfish has been reported 20 times in California since 1901. So this isn't the only one. It's just that they are very, very rare. It's a very rare sighting. This 4.6 magnitude earthquake could also be a precursor to a much bigger earthquake. This article from Fox 11 Los Angeles was released on August 14th and it says, Seismologist warns earthquake activity increasing in Southern California. And these lights, they were seen in Southern California. Reading from this article, it says, In just the last week alone, Southern California has experienced two earthquakes. Reading this from San Francisco Gate on August 14th, 2024, it says, Southern California is seeing more quakes in 2024 than it has in 20 years. The earth has woken up in Southern California. After a 20 year quiet period, the region is seeing an uptick in earthquakes with the magnitude 4.4 tremblor that jolted Los Angeles on Monday, a part of this trend. Despite the rattling of knickknacks and nerves, however, experts say that this is normal. So yes, they are saying that there is a stark increase of earthquakes that are greater than 4.0 in the Los Angeles area in 2024 alone than in the past 20 years. Then we have the possibility of earthquake lights. Then we have this very rare ore fish that only appears when there's a natural disaster or supposedly anyway. And yet they're saying everything's normal. Everything's fine. Just ignore it. Scientists still do not know what these earthquake lights are or supposedly these earthquake lights anyway, because some even believe that these could even be heart related. This could be technology to increase the activity of earthquakes in a specific area. They have also noted that these massive earthquake lights only appear when there is a 7.0 magnitude earthquake or greater. So there has to be a very great earthquake coming for these lights to appear. Now, outside of very terrifying earthquake lights, it should also be very interesting to know that the area where these sightings occurred, Palmdale and Lancaster, it is very close to a significant military base and Lockheed Martin Skunk Works facility, an operation known for its cutting edge and often classified aerospace projects. It should also be rather interesting to know that in 1990, the Lockheed Skunk Works attempted to interest NASA in an optionally manned high altitude atmospheric research platform, otherwise known as HARP, to support upper atmospheric ozone studies to altitudes of at least 100,000 feet. Despite seriously considering a variety of configurations, NASA ultimately elected not to fund HARP and the project faded into obscurity, or so they say. We know better than to believe that HARP just faded into obscurity. It's very terrifying to know that Lockheed Skunk Works that is in this location goes hand in hand with HARP. And we are seeing these very bizarre lights in the skies 
that are being captured by people with these lights having a connection to massive earthquakes. So who knows what Lockheed Martin really is doing out there. So again, yes, you're going to hear people say that these are drones, these are UFOs. But like I said previously, we cannot take off the table that these are earthquake lights, man-made earthquake lights, especially since we have Lockheed Martin Skunk Works in the location. And HARP, to me, like I've said in other videos, that has to do with hurricanes or these very bizarre weather patterns. HARP is indeed one of the more terrifying things to talk about because as they continue to poke and prod with nature, nature will strike back. And when it strikes back, there will be no controlling it. But in any case, this is just my theory. I would like to hear yours in the comment section below. What do you believe these lights happen to be? Do you believe they're drones? Do you believe they are UFOs? Do you believe they're earthquake lights? Or do you think there's something else altogether? Please do comment in the comment section below. In any case, thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please like. As any engagement does help the channel grow. Once again, thank you so much for your support.